Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stoneworks yet again, and today we've actually got a moon base to have a little look at. So this orange thing right here is the moon base. Uh, I believe it, uh, it actually has a vehicle inside of it, so we're going to go ahead and try and use that today. And drive around a little bit, and yeah, we're just going to go ahead and check it out. So, let's go ahead and get inside, have a little look around. We'll then get in the vehicle, have a little drive around, and then, I don't know, maybe something weird's going to happen. Okay, so let's go ahead and go upstairs. Here we go. We are going to go ahead and press the depressure button. Uh, yeah, I guess that's working. As soon as it is under 0 0.2, the door will unlock. All right, well, I guess this is a good way of doing it. It does mean we have to stand outside for ages, though. So I'm just going to wait here for this to be done. And then, uh, yeah, we can get inside. Luckily, it doesn't actually take that long. So we're almost ready. And bam, airlock is open. Go ahead and get inside. Close the door. There we go. Now do I have to do it again? Pressurize the airlock. There we go. And I'm going to take my spacesuit off. Was that a good idea? I guess so. It's actually working. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the door. And we are now within the Luna facility. Yes, we are. Everything is very, very orange. We have a radio room right here, just in case. We have a little window inside. Oh, this is... This is really nice. Like, you got all of these little... Whoa, look at that! That's really cool. Um, but yeah, you've got all of these little little monitors up here. You've got a radio, just in case you need to use it. Uh, there is a light. So you can turn the light on. There is also a heater, which we might need to use soon. I'm not sure. Uh, what is this? So, spotlights. That's for outside. We've got always on interior lighting. There we go. We have a garage ramp lights and star laser. Okay, what is the star laser? What's that all about? Okay, so we have a kitchen right here. Let's have a little look at that. We've got a microwave. We have a coffee machine. We have a sink. We have a hob. And we have a, uh, a fridge. Okay, interesting. What is this? A breaker's room. Okay, what have we got going on in here? There's emergency breakers. What is that? Underground battery pack. Interesting. We have a button unlock to do the alarm. Don't think we need an alarm right now. We have a bathroom. Wait, no way does this work. Hang on, let me jump in. Oh, let me, there we go, okay, cool, open. Whoa! Okay, the actual thing works, and we are dying a little bit, but that's okay. We have a sink right here, okay, awesome, and there's also a heater in there. Very nice. Okay, next thing is storage, we actually have a storage room, okay, interesting, there's loads of stuff in there. We have a medical room, so just a med bed and a bunch of med kits, very nice. We have a television and an emergency call button. Nice. And some lights as well. There we go. Let's go ahead and close that up. We have cabin number one, which is just where you sleep. There is actually a window to the outside above us. And a window to the outside right there as well. Interesting. We also get a telly in there. And also a heater for the individual room. That's cool. All right. We've got a telescope room in there. I'll go in there in a second. We have a cabin right here. Okay, which is the same as the other one. We have a bedroom, which is slightly different to a cabin. Because your TV is on the wall, which I think is a very bad place for a TV, because if your head's over there and your TV's at the side, I don't know. That seems really weird. It seems really weird. But you do have this window, which is cool. That is really cool. Anyway, next thing is an office. If we sit in the little seat, we can turn the PC on. Very nice. And it does actually work. That's insane. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and leave that alone. Um, and yeah, I think we've just got another office. Yes, we do. Okay, cool. So, uh, we've looked around pretty much all of the interior of this. There is, however, a telescope to do. So let's go ahead and have a little look at that. Here we go. Turn the little light on in the telescope room. Turn the systems on. Here we go. And there's our telescope. Interesting. So we can move this around. It is just a camera, but that's cool. And we can zoom in massively. Like we can look all the way at the Earth. Look at that. Holy! That's crazy! Yeah. So yeah, it's just like a little camera room. I, I like the idea of this. Uh, it's very simple, but very cool. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what I'm interested about is the garage. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the garage door. There we go. Garage door is opened up outside. We now need to go back outside this way. Here we go. Put on our space suit. And we're going to go. Oh, it's locked. I need to actually depressurize again, and then we can go again. But yeah, I want to get in the space buggy. I mean, the moon buggy? 
Moon buggy. Yeah, sure. Anyway, uh, I'm waiting for the pressure to drop again, just so I can open this door, and then we can go outside. Garage is open! Woo! Nice! Not garage, what am I saying? The door is open. There we go. Right, so the garage is located somewhere around here. I think it's on the back side. Yeah, there it is. And here's our moon buggy. Would you look at that? I've never driven anything on the moon before. On off. There we go. Parking brake inverted. There we go. Yes, moon buggy is is away. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, already almost tipped it over. That is madness. But yeah, I guess it's electrical. Okay, cool. Uh, we have loads of solar panels on it, which is nice. I have spotlights. And we also have a reverse. Interesting. So yeah, essentially this thing is just for driving around on the moon. Uh, we can actually take people around. There is some extra seats. Uh, there is actually some spacesuits on here. Don't know why you'd need another one, but yes, there are spacesuits. And uh, a bunch of equipment as well. Let's go ahead and stop it right here real quick. Turn on the brake. I want to have a little look around, see if it can open up or anything. I don't think it can. I think that's, that's actually it. Alright, well that's fine. Let's go ahead and do this. And drive back. Now... Now that I've actually seen this, I think it'd be really cool to actually make a moon base. I, I don't know what kind of moon base, I don't know what it would look like, but I think it'd be really cool to build one. And it'd be really cool if we had to transport it here. Don't know how that would work. I think it'd be kind of challenging, but um, yeah, it might be really, really awesome to do. Anyway, uh, we are back at the base. We did some exploration. And now all we need to do is reverse into there, and that's it. We've done. We've done. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Here we go. We can reverse in. Yes. Very nice indeedy. What a good little adventure we've just been on. Excellent. Well, we can turn that off now. There we go. Uh, we can have a little look around in the garage as well. So there's a bunch of welding torches. Those are underwater welding torches. Wait, do you need underwater welding torches in space? I didn't even think about that. That's crazy. Uh, turn off the spotlights. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll turn this off. Oh. I think I might be stuck in the door. Um. Uh. Yep, yeah, there we go. Luckily, uh, the door actually opened for me there. Anyway, yeah, we can actually close that up. That's really cool. That's really cool. But yeah, if we have a little look around on the outside, we've got little things like this. So this is the electric uh, right here. You can actually attach it on right there. Uh, if we go around the other side, there's another one right there. I don't know why you'd need it on the outside all the way around, but I guess, I don't know, it sort of makes sense. We have a fluid hose, uh, fluid connector, and an electrical connector right there. And then we've got jet fuel, electrical, air, and water if we need it right there as well. That's cool. That is very, very nice. Anyway, um, I don't really know what else to do today, so that's it. That is actually it. Let's have a little look around on the roof real quick. We have solar panels, just in case we need them. We have a spotlight that is spinning around. That looks cool. There's our telescope, there's our telescope uh, laser, and then we've got another random laser over here too. But that is it for the lunar base for right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Kind of a boring video, I guess, because not much happened. But, actually, wait, I've got something that might be able to happen. Okay, it is about to happen, so I want to get back inside as quickly as I can. Open the airlock doors and let me in. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. Okay, depressurize. Let me in. There we go. I need a seat. I need a seat. Here we go. Oh, my. All right, you ready for this? Are you guys ready for this? Oh. Oh, oh. Meteor shower is hitting the moon. Look at that. So you can actually spawn in meteors on the moon too. I was expecting it to sort of hit the base, uh, to be totally honest with you guys, but it missed. So yeah, interesting. Still a boring video then. Anyway, uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show this off. Uh, it's kind of a cool little design. I really like it. And you guys should definitely check it out. Anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.